Welcome back to the shop. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care, and today we're gonna show you how to dilute your detailing products just like a professional. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Check out all the other videos we have right here on our channel. You wanna be a super cool detailer? Click that notification bell, and make sure you get the first notifications when we release new videos, because here on our channel, we put out new tech videos every week just for you guys to show you the best detailing techniques from the pros. So today, let's give you a pro tip on how to dilute your detailing products when you're using concentrated products to get those professional results. Now, what is dilution ratios and how does it work? Now, diluting your products is where you take a concentrated product just like this one and you mix it with water to turn this little bit of product into a lot of product. Now, that makes your value of your product go up tremendously because it lowers the cost when you dilute your product. That means you're spreading out the cost of the concentrated bottle over many different bottles. This bottle can actually make up to five bottles, which makes it great value. Now, there's a lot of different products out there on the market, but they categorize into two types of products, ready to use and concentrated products. Most consumers out there on the market, they go over to Wally World or any auto parts store and they grab a ready to use product. That means you grab it off the shelf and it's ready to use, but it's usually very basic and performs to a very basic level. But if you want those pro results, that heavy duty cleaning, those great shine and the great results that professionals get, they wanna use a concentrated product. Now professionals always choose concentrated products because they give you more value and they're easier to dilute and they save you a lot of money. Now, here at Masterson's Car Care, we make a variety of concentrated products. We make our wheel and rim cleaner gel. This is a concentrated product. This you actually mix with a gallon of water, so this will turn into a whole gallon of wheel cleaner. Imagine not having to ship a huge gallon, only shipping this, because the shipping on this is gonna be much cheaper to you guys. Also, we have our super cleaner and our heavy duty degreaser. These are all purpose cleaners, and these will both make 20 bottles. So you buy one of these, and it turns into 20 bottles. That's amazing value, and gets more detailing jobs done, whether you're a pro, or an enthusiast. Now, diluting your products is super easy to do, and I'm gonna show you right now the basic technique to dilute your products without any calculators. If you're bad at math, it's okay. If these numbers confuse you, don't worry. I'm gonna break it down and give you the simplest technique. Now, the first thing I gotta tell you is read the instructions. On any concentrated product, go ahead and read the instructions on the back of the bottle, or go ahead and contact the manufacturer. Here at Masterson's Car Care, customer service is number one priority, so we put a full instruction manual right on the back of the bottle with dilution ratios. So if you check out this picture, we got the dilution ratios right on this bottle of super cleaner. If you notice, it says interior detailing, 15 to one, exterior detailing, 10 to one, and then heavy duty cleaning, five to one. So what is five to one? What's 15 to one? What's 20 to one? Well, that's the dilution ratio. So let's take five to one for example. Now five to one means you're gonna dilute your products five parts of water to one part of concentrate. Now, when you're looking at dilution ratio, it's always gonna be two numbers, one number, a colon, and then another number. The bigger number is always going to be the amount of water that you put in the product because that's what you're doing when you're diluting product. You're actually watering the product down to get a ready to use formula. So this right here is our waterless wash and shine. We're gonna dilute this today four to one. Now, this product is actually ready to use when you buy it from us. You actually get it with a sprayer, but it comes with a, cap on the top, and that means you can dilute the product. Right here on the back of the instructions, it doesn't give a dilution ratio, but it says dilute as desired. So if you're a pro, if you're an enthusiast, you can actually use this right out of the bottle. We have a lot of customers that use it right out of the bottle, but if you're doing a lot of washes, you're like me where you wash your car every couple days, you wanna get more value for your dollar, you can go ahead and dilute this product and make it into a high performing, ready to use product. Now, diluting our waterless wash and shine is not gonna change the performance. It's still gonna perform and work just like like you would if you were using ready to use, you're just gonna get more product and more value per your bottle. So let's show you how to dilute the product today. Now dilute the product, all you need is your concentrated bottle, you need a secondary container, you also need a sprayer or another cap. This one's gonna be a spray product, so we got an extra sprayer. And then you need some water. Now when you're diluting your product, never use tap water. Reason being is tap water has uh, calcium, it also has added minerals for taste, and then it also has chlorine. All of these things can ruin your dilution. So if you wanna get the best results, use distilled water. Right here I have some distilled water. I poured it from a bigger jug into this small container so we have it ready to use. Now, 
Let's go ahead and divide our bottle up. Now we're gonna do this to a four to one dilution ratio. I love doing this four to one. This product can be diluted up to five to one, but we're gonna do four to one today. So take your bottle and to determine how much product you put in the bottle without any calculators, without any measuring sticks, we're gonna show you how to do that today with our 16 ounce bottle. Now dilution ratios, you can find calculators online if you Google dilution ratio calculator and it'll tell you how many ounces specifically to put in your container. But if you're like me and you're bad at math, a lot of people are, we're going to show you the easy way to do this with no rulers and no calculators. So first take a Sharpie pen or any type of marker and then go ahead and look at your container and then divide it into the amount of spaces you want to go ahead and dilute. So the way you figure that out is take your dilution ratio and add all the numbers together. So we're going to do a four to one dilution ratio. So that means four plus one equals five. Break down this bottle into five basic parts. So I'm going to try and eyeball it. You, you can use a, a ruler if you like or a tape measure. So now I got four lines on my bottle. I just eyeballed it. I like using the eyeball method because if it's a little bit over, a little bit under, it's not going to affect the dilution ratio. So now what we do is we got five spots. One, two, three, four, five evenly set out spaces on our bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to first take our concentrated version, we're going to shake it up, and then we're going to pour in our concentrated version. Look how thick our concentrated version is when it pours into the bottle. Let's see if we can pour it on this side. Look how thick it is when we pour it in. That's because this is the concentrated version. So what I do is I poured it right up to my line. You see that right there? If it's a little bit over, it's all right. Don't worry. So now I'm going to take my water. This is my distilled water, and I'm going to pour it into the container. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding my one part product and my four parts water. That's going to give me a four to one dilution ratio. I like to pour it all the way up close to the top and then I take my sprayer and I put it on. And if you notice inside the product, it's not mixed yet, right? It's just in there in the bottle. Now what I need to do is I need to shake that up. So I take my product and I give it a good shake. Make sure you shake really well to dilute the product. And now look, our product is diluted and we have a ready to use container right here at Masterson's Car Care. Now the coolest thing about this is that it's so easy to do anytime. You simply take the dilution product, you mix it, and you have perfect dilution every time using this eyeball method. Plus, now this bottle just got made into five bottles. That's crazy. So this bottle now turned into five bottles. My product cost got lowered and I got more value when I detail my vehicle. Now you guys know exactly the professional way to dilute your products without any calculators, without any rulers, without any crazy numbers. It's super easy to do. Just go out and take your dilution ratios, add them up together. So if you're doing a 15 to one dilution ratio, 15 plus one equals 16. Di uh, make your 16 or um, 16 spaces on your bottle to make sure you have 16 even spaces and then fill up accordingly and you'll get the best results every time. So if you guys like this pro tip right here from the shop, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and check out all the other videos we have right here on our channel. If you want to pick up some of our amazing products, go hop over to our website, masterson'swax.com. Use code YouTube for 10% off and free shipping over $99. Have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing. <laughs>